Now, from time to time, you will want to create a composition that's totally blank. It doesn't have any footage in it, no video, no photo, and start your motion graphics. This is a usual practice. How do you do that? To create a new composition, you can come to composition. There is new composition, and the shortcut is Ctrl N. Or you can come to my famous uh, icon over here, create a new composition. I like this one. Let's click on it. Now, the composition setting panel will open. First of all, you have the composition name. I always urge you not to give it comp1, comp2, comp3. Just make sure that you have a good name that means something to you. For example, here I'm going to give it a first animation. And then you want to focus on the three tabs here. Well, the basic tab here is where the work is. Advanced, for now, there is not much to do here. But uh, there are two options here that we'll see later on that are quite important, by the way. And there is the motion blur. We'll see the motion blur maybe in the next lecture, how to apply it to layers. So remember, the motion blur is under composition settings, advanced. You can change it the way you would like. And take note that these are the defaults. You have the 3D renderer. The 3D renderer is meant when you want to work in 3D. And you have three options. The classic 3D, this is totally 100% after effects. It's cool, it works, it gives you nice 3D. Now you have the Cinema 4D, which obviously will create a composition if you want to add or work in Cinema 4D. And you have the Ray Traced 3D. This is used, for example, if you want to extrude some text. But both of them, if you want to use them, make sure that you have a GPU card with 4 GB RAM and you have lots of RAM for your CPU. They are RAM intensive and CPU intensive. Your computer will crawl in the previews. So let's take to classic 3D. Let's go back to basic. And here the next one that appears is preset. Now, if you click on it, let's take it up to see it nicely. If you click on it, you have lots of presets here. The first ones, obviously, they have to do with TVs. So if you're going to send your work to TVs, ask them which format you want. You choose the format and start working on it. The rest here can be used either for TVs or for the web. If you are going to create a video, that has only motion graphics, I recommend that you use 720-25, that's HDTV, or HDTV 1080-25. If you choose HDTV 720 by 25, then the width is 1280, the height is 720, exactly like the comp we have created, and the aspect ratio here is 16 by 9. You can change that, for example, Let's go and take the DVC Pro HD 720 by 25. Notice the aspect ratio here it has changed. So better to use the 720 HDTV. Okay. And uh, the square pixel, keep it square pixels if you're working only motion graphics. Even for your videos, don't change this one unless you have some specific output that you want to have. The frame rate is 25. By default, this is 25. But you can change the frame rate the way you would like. Okay, I'll keep it for 25 or put it at 30 if you like. And then the start time code is 00. This is where it starts over here. And the duration. Now, the duration here is set for one second for me. For you, it could be different. The way to play with the duration is like this. One is one frame. You can see here one frame. 10 is 10 frames. 100 is one second. 1000 is 10 seconds. And 10,000 is one minute. After that, you will come to your background color over here. If you click, you can change the color. This is not really a background for the composition, but it's a background color that you can make transparent later on. It's feasible to work with. Later on, you will also learn how to put real backgrounds for your comps. For example, we can choose this color over here. That's a cool color. It shows well. And you click OK. Here you are, a new composition has been created. You notice it's blank. There is nothing inside here. There are no layers. And you can start, for example, adding some rectangles, some text, some stories, and working on your motion graphics. Now, if you look over here, you will notice the composition is 1280 by 720, 30 frames per second. It's very legal for me to take a video, which is 1280 by 720, 30 frames per second, and drop it inside the composition. Here you are, they are very compatible, and you start creating your motion graphics. Notice that the time of the video is only 10 seconds, and the composition I created is one minute.
One more thing I would like to show you is how to change the settings. If you right click on the composition name over here or over here, you will find composition settings. If you click on it, these are the settings and you can change whatever you like. For example, the background color and maybe also you can change to 1080. Here you are. And uh, you notice how it has changed the composition to a 4 by 3 aspect ratio and the video has changed also. But actually, this is how you change the settings for a composition. Composition settings, you just right click on the name. Well, guys, thank you very much. I'll see you in the next lecture.